Okay, so here's our, here's another question of uh, involving a maximum minimum question from calculus. Uh, a rancher has 400 meters of fencing with which to enclose two adjacent corrals. Two dimension, what dimensions should be used so that the enclosed area will be a maximum? So before I go further, it's gonna involve maximum area. Okay. What that two adjacent corrals means is two rectangles effectively joined together. So my first step is always uh, draw out a diagram. And the question asks for dimensions. Okay, so let's just go ahead and draw the diagram. Okay, so there's your uh, there's your two adjacent corrals. So it's got two rectangles effectively joined together. And uh, what's happening is there is two lengths. So the length would be here to here. There's another one from here to here. Then there's a width that runs from top to bottom, but there's three of them. Okay, so the questions are asking, you've got 400 meters and you need to cover all, um, all of that three widths and two lengths. Okay, so that's always your first step in an optimization uh, situation is to draw the situation. The, uh, you draw what the question is asking you to do. Okay, so ne then we move on to the second step. And the second step asks to find out what's being maximized or minimized and what's being ma maximized is the rectangles so the area of the rectangle can be represented as we know as the length times the width and that's the max area Okay, so sooner or later, we're going to have to take the derivative of this function. But we can't take the derivative of this function as of yet, because there's two variables in the one function. So to eliminate one of them, we need to work with what we're given, otherwise also known as the constraint. And we know from the question that you're only given 400 meters in which you need to cover two lengths and three widths. So we'll work with that. So we know the perimeter uh, will equal 3w plus 2l. And that's 400 plus 3w plus 2, uh, 2l and with this we're gonna take one variable as the subject so I'll work with length and to do that we're gonna reduce both sides by 3w so far there and the length would therefore be 200 minus 1.5 W. 
So I divided two, uh, 400 by two, and three divided by two is 1.5, but I converted it from three over two into a decimal. And that's our third step. Now our fourth step would be to substitute that constraint equation into our area equation which would leave an area of 200 minus 1.5 w with w outside the parentheses and that's our area function so instead of using the uh, product rule I'm just going to distribute the w out to each term and just apply chain rule principles so we will get 200 w minus 1.5 w squared and that's the function we will be taking the uh, derivative of which is our fifth step so let's go ahead and take the derivative of that That would leave 200 minus uh, 3 w. And by setting that equation to zero, we will find out what the uh, function can hold in terms of its area. And we'll just go ahead and set that to zero. So zero equals 200 minus 3w, 3w equals 200, I'll work up here, w will equal 200 over 3 meters. I'll leave it at that, uh, I, won't work, I won't reduce it down to its decimals, I'll just leave it in exact form. And step number six would be to uh, define, was well, to work out your variables. So we know the width, we worked out to be 200 over three meters. And the length can be found to be 200 minus 1.5 W. So we just substitute, uh, 1.5 over 3 uh, that would be 300 100 so you'd be 100 meters I believe and please correct me in comments if I am wrong okay so these would be your dimensions a width of 200 over 3 meters and a length of 100 meters each and that would uh, be your answer. So in stating your answer, width equals 200 over three meters and the length would be 100 meters. And the both of these would produce an area of 100 times 220,000 be 20,000 over 3 uh, meters squared and that would be your answer so going back uh, to our diagram the width would be 200 over 3 meters and the length would be 100 meters And that would be your answer.